Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of UA Eats. I'm UA, and today we're at Wolfgang's Steakhouse, one of my favorite steakhouses in all of New York City. Now, some of you may remember my Peter Luger video, where I went to the famous Peter Luger, regarded as one of the best steaks in New York City for about 100 years. There was a lot of hype surrounding that restaurant, and it was very expensive. However, we found that it didn't really live up to the hype, and it was overall overrated. However, I wanted to show you guys Wolfgang Steakhouse. Now, if you want that original Peter Luger taste, you want to come here to Wolfgang's Steakhouse. Wolfgang's was actually founded by the head waiter at Peter Luger of 30 years. He worked at Peter Luger for 30 years, he learned the ins and outs of everything they do, and he opened the first Wolfgang's Steakhouse in Midtown Manhattan. Today, Peter Luger might be a tourist trap and is mostly coasting off its reputation, but Wolfgang's Steakhouse is carrying on the Peter Luger legacy with great steak, cool classic presentation, a very, very similar menu, very, very similar attire for their waitstaff, and between the two of us, very similar attitudes as well. Anyways, I'm hungry. Let's take a look at the menu. Now, just looking at the menu, I see a ton similar to Peter Luger, especially the famous sliced onions and tomatoes for a whopping $16. However, we're here for the steak, so let's get a New York sirloin steak. As always, let's not neglect the bread. We gotta review the bread and dig this. The bread is exactly the same as Peter Luger. Let's try it. Mmm! Just like Peter Luger, it's great bread paired with fresh butter. It's got nice toasted onion on it. It really has a flavor that reminds me of onion bagels, and I love onion bagels. But let's not fill up on bread. We're gonna save room for our steaks. Well, okay, maybe one more bite. Mmm! And it's got a nice onion filling too. Just wanted to point that out. Anyways, let's wait for our food. All right guys, as you saw by that sizzling earlier, our steak has arrived and I can't wait. Honestly, when I went to Peter Luger, I had no gripe with the presentation. The steak looked great, it sounded great, but to be honest, it, it didn't really taste great, at least not to me. But the steak here at Wolfgang's, it's got the Peter Luger preparation style and the Peter Luger presentation, but the quality of that meat is up to that original Peter Luger standard and it's just excellent. But before we dig into the steak, we got one of Wolfgang's and Peter Luger's most famous dishes, German potatoes. Let's try this. All right, first bite of the German potatoes. Oh. Oh. All right, before I offer commentary, I gotta take more bites of this. Get some crispiness and some softness combined. Oh. Oh. Guys, these are like hash browns, but on like another level. Hash browns or home fries, you might have had these before at like a diner or like a school cafeteria. And who doesn't like home fries? Who doesn't like hash browns? We like them because there's that soft potato and that crunchy potato on top. But guys, let me show you real quick. Just look at that beautiful char on the outside and just look at that wonderful soft potato on the inside. The temperature control was perfect here. Here you get the best of both worlds. You get soft potato, crunchy charred potato. Ah, it's just perfect, guys. Mm, excellent. All right, guys, enough talk. It is time to eat some steak. Weapon of choice, let's go. All right, first bite of my medium rare New York sirloin. Mm. Oh. Let's take more bites. Oh. Oh. Guys, it is just so tender. It's not just that butter they poured on top that's giving it flavor. It's not just the great sear they were able to get. Peter Luger did all that as well. Peter Luger had a great sear on the steak. They had the perfect temperature control and your steak comes with delicious spoonfuls of buttery goodness. But unfortunately, when it comes to steak, all the technique, all the amazing butter, all the presentation in the world can only do so much because great steak really is all about eating great meat. 
a steak is only going to be as good as the quality of the meat and unfortunately there's just no way around that. At Peter Luger, that steak just lacked really special beefy flavor. It just tasted very average, uh, like very mediocre. I'm just being completely honest. I promise I'm not a Peter Luger hater, just my personal opinion. And worst of all, it was chewy. Some bites literally took me like minutes just to completely chew and completely get down my throat. The meat was tough and chewy and that may come down to lack of marbleization just leading to not enough fat making it not tender enough but this steak guys it may be new york sirloin it's not filet mignon or ribeye but oh amazing i gotta say guys peter luger once great, great for a hundred years, has officially made the jump from legendary restaurant to tourist destination. And the loss of their Michelin star shows that. But if you want that original Peter Luger taste, just check out Wolfgang's. There's several locations, including in lots of different countries. They're carrying on the original Peter Luger taste. The person who opened it had 30 years of experience at Peter Luger. And at Wolfgang's, you have like a time capsule of the original Peter Luger taste and a new atmosphere Sphere, but it's excellent and it shows you what put Peter Luger on the map and what's putting Wolfgang's on the map. Lastly, we need to try their steak sauce. This is their Wolfgang's old-fashioned steak sauce as they call it. I remember the steak sauce at Peter Luger being pretty good, so let's give this a try. All right, let's give it a try. Mm. 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 Wow. That is a pretty good steak sauce. It's very acidic and it really helps to cut through that meaty steak, that really intense beefy flavor. So if you need a break from that intense steak beefy flavor, this is a good change of pace. However, we are gonna put the steak sauce aside because I am of the opinion that great meat should speak for itself. Honestly, to people who love steak sauce, you do you, but I don't want anything to mask the natural flavor of this incredible dry aged beef. Oh, amazing. Oh. Wow. Absolutely delicious. Oh. Wow, guys, as you can tell, that entered the clean plate club. Very, very good. I destroyed that steak, and I'm glad I did because it wasn't cheap. I spent like a good like 60, 70 bucks on it, so I savored every bite of that. Anyways, guys, I think that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for coming with me on this journey as we went to one of the locations of Wolfgang Steakhouse, the successor to Peter Luger's Steakhouse. I will warn you that it has the old Peter Luger taste. However, some things have stayed the same as well. For example, Peter Luger was never known for having the best service. Don't expect the best service. It's part of the experience. But if you can get past that, the food here is great the sides, the steak, the complimentary bread and butter. Peter Luger may not be the same restaurant it once was, but if you want the original Peter Luger taste, then check out Wolfgang Steakhouse. Because through Wolfgang Steakhouse, Peter Luger's legacy continues and its taste survives. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like my videos, make sure you like and subscribe. That way you stay up to date whenever I post another video. I have a huge plate of German potatoes left. Until next time, I'll see you later.